Hello, everybody. Hello, another great big Sage Gates head welcome from me to you guys. My name's Eleanor. I um, really hope that you're having a good time making music at home in these really interesting times until we can all uh, hang out again and have some fun and make some music together. So if you are enjoying making music at home, we do have a couple of other videos. You might have seen them already or you might not. Have a little look on our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page um, and find some other Music Live Under 5 at home videos for you to try. Uh, and you can do them more than once. You can do them over and over again until you know the songs really well. Um, you can change the words to anything that I sing um, and you can add your own in. Um, you can always pause whatever I'm doing, add your own favourite songs in there and just make the sessions um, your own. As always, we would love to see you making music at home. So if you have any videos, um, any pictures of you and any grown-ups, we always love to see the grown-ups making music too, um, that you'd be happy to share with us, please send them in on the usual things of uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere you can find us. So our session today is all about animals. We love animals. We love singing about animals. We love going to visit animals. Some of us even have some in our home. Do you have any animals that live with you? And we'd love it if you wanted to write a song about them, or maybe you could um, take one of the songs we sing today and sing it about your pet. That'd be really fun. Um, okay, let's get going. So you may well know by now that we start all of our sessions with a hello song, and I'm gonna play my instrument for these sessions now. Um, does anybody, can anyone remember, what's the name of my instrument? This is my ukulele, and let's count the strings. You might already know how many we've got, but let's count together. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. We have four strings on my ukulele. Um, so I'm going to play my ukulele while we sing hello. And what you guys can do, if you have any instruments or anything that makes a good sound at home, you can play along that way. Um, but if you put one hand out in front of you like this, and the other hand on top. This is what our friend Carol calls our hand sandwich. And if you could put one hand on one knee like this and then move it over to the other and the other one and the other one and try going really fast. <gasps> Great, okay. And now what you need to do is tap your knees in time or at the same tempo as my playing. And that's the same speed, okay? So we're gonna go from one knee to the other and one knee to the other, fantastic. All right, let's do a hello to everyone to start with. Ready, steady. our songs all about animals with one that I think you all might know and it's about an animal that has eight legs and crawls along the ground and it can crawl up the walls and all along your ceiling and it makes very very special things that they live in called webs. Do you know what animal I'm talking about? It's a spider. So we're gonna sing a song about a spider that climbs up the spout. You may have guessed it. We're gonna sing Incy Wincy Spider. Um, so can you make a spider with your hands? And can you make it crawl all the way up to your screen and say hello, and then crawl all the way back? 
and so we know the words. Incy Wincy Spider was climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain, so Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Are we ready? Steady, and off we go. Incy Wincy Spider was climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Splash! You might do a big splash at the end, you might not. Lots of nurseries that we work in love doing a great big splash at the end, so you might enjoy doing that too. Now, let's try it again. And off we go. Incy Wincy Spider was climbing up the spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Splash! Now this time, can you make If you've ever been in any sessions with our friend Sophia, she loves doing this song and loves doing teeny weeny spiders and great big ones. So you might have done this with our friend Sophia. Are you ready? A teeny weeny spider. And can you sing really, really quietly? Are you ready? And off we go. A teeny weeny spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain so teeny weeny spider climbed up the spout again splash that was fantastic so if we've sung about a teeny weeny spider what about a great big spider are you ready to make your biggest spider and we'll sing as loud as we can and off we go at the great big spider climbed up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain so the great big spider climbed up the spout again splash all right well done everyone i have one more version for you can you hold your hand up like this you might know this you might have done it with us before or it might be a newie um and you hold your hand up like this and pretend it's a tree and can you get your spider and make him climb up the tree and we're going to sing about the snow so incy wincy spider was climbing up the tree down came the snow and made poor incy freeze <laughs> can you do a good freeze <laughs> Out came the sunshine and melted all the snow. So Incy Wincy Spider had another go. Shall we do it all together? Are you ready? And off we go. Incy Wincy Spider was climbing up the tree. Down came the snow and made poor Incy freeze. <laughs> Out came the sunshine and melted all the snow. So Incy Wincy Spider had another go. All right, well done everyone. Good singing. Okay, so our next animal song is another great big favourite um, of ours, especially in the children's room with our very special machine that you might have seen in there that makes a lot of bubbles and the first thing you're going to need to be able to join in this song with me is to blow some bubbles so you get one finger like this and can you go a little bit of 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 a and when you've blown your great big bubble, you then need to pop it. So can you get your arms as wide as they'll go and go pop like that. Ready? One, two, three. Pop. So we'll go pop. Now, any of you that know the song, have you guessed which one we're doing? It's about my friend who's sitting just over here. Now, this animal over here, a little bit like a tortoise, but one that swims in the sea as well. Can anyone remember what this is? 
This is our turtle, and this is no ordinary turtle. He has a very special name. This is Tiny Tim. So I met a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and ate a bar of soap. Ugh. And when he tried to talk, he had in his throat. And then you go do you think you're ready to sing with me? I'm going to play my ukulele so you can um, sing along. You can make a, a, a turtle with your hands. So the, the BSL sign for turtle, if you put one hand on top of the other, put your thumbs out to the side and then make your thumbs swim around. Can you see that? Okay, there. So that's the sign for turtle. It's one of my favourite ones. Um, and you can make your turtle swim around. You can tap your knees from one to the other. Any really little people that are there um, that can't maybe can't move for themselves, if you can just tap the beat or the pulse with them so they can feel it as they're singing, that'd be fantastic. All right, let's put our turtle over here so you can see him while we're singing about him. Are you ready? You ready to make your turtle swim or tap your knees? Ah, oh, we go. Oh, I met a little turtle. everyone all right so this you may have already thought of this yourselves this is a brilliant one for in the bath so you can play with the bubbles you can blow bubbles in the water you might be allowed to do a little bit of splashing but ask your grown-ups first um and it's great you can pretend to be turtles in the water so this is a really good one for bath time and um, i think you are so good at that that we might do it a little bit faster are you ready? Shall we do it really, 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 really fast? So it means you've got to blow bubbles really fast and do a really big pop at the end. Okay. Are you ready to tap your knees or make your turtles swim around? Ready? Good work, everybody. That's definitely, definitely uh, one of our greatest hits, that one. So we really hope if that's a brand new on you that you've enjoyed learning that today. So for this next one, we're all going to pretend um, that we're riding on a horse. Um, so you can do this in many different ways. If you've got a grown up handy, they might let you sit on their knee. And um, so you can pretend that that's a horse and you can do some um, moving around on there. Um, if, if not, you could uh, maybe get a cushion and sit on that and pretend that you're on a horse or you can be the horse and you can get your friend um, and pop your friend on your knee, ready to do some bouncing around. Um, so however you wanna do this. So this is a song called Walk Along Josie. Um, and I've got a one year old, I might just go see if I can find her um, to see if she can give me a hand. So I found a Rosa. Rosa, are you ready to go on a horse with mommy? So this is Walk Along Josie. Now Josie is our horse. And we're going to sing, walk along, walk along, walk along, Josie, walk along, walk along, walk along, Joe. And then the word Joe, we're going to either hold them in the air, flop them on the floor, or just give them a little surprise of some kind. So are you ready to do some walking, Rosa? And off we go. Walk along, walk along, walk along, Josie. Walk along, walk along, walk along, Joe. <gasps> and this time, are you ready to trot? So a little bit faster, but leave something for the gallop. Are you ready to trot, Rosa? And off we go. Trot along, trot along, trot along, Josie. Trot along, trot along, trot along, Joe! <laughs> Are you ready to gallop this time? Ready to gallop as you can. Gallop along, gallop along, gallop along, Josie. Gallop along, gallop along, gallop along, Joe! Well done, Rosa. Okay, so now you can do that song for as long as you like. And it's about the difference in speed between walking and trotting and galloping. Remember to leave something for the galloping. Shall we do a gallop for one more time, Rosa? What have you found? A shaky egg, can you shake it? 
Yes. Are you ready to do one more gallop? So let's get back on the horse. So off we go. Gallop along, gallop along, gallop along, Josie. Gallop along, gallop along, gallop along, Joe. Thanks, Rosa. Thanks, mate. <laughs> well done. Did you enjoy some bouncing at home? Did your grown-ups help out with that? See if you can rope him in for a bit of fun. And Rosa, what have you got? Can you play us one more thing? Thanks for your help, mate. That was really fun. Is there anything you want to say? You've never been this quiet ever. Okay. All right. Doing really well, everybody. So this next song is about an animal that comes from Australia. Um, and it's very special because it keeps its baby, called its Joey, in its pouch. Does anyone know which animal this might be? Um, yeah, this is our kangaroo. So here's our kangaroo. Now, kangaroos are really, really good at jumping, or bouncing, or hopping. Um, and I know a really lush song that starts off about this, and it's called Kangaroos Like to Hop, written by Leon Russelson. Uh, and I used to listen to Roy Bailey sing it. And the first words are, kangaroos like to hop, 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 hop. Zebras like to run, 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 run. Horses like to trot, 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 trot. And then can we sing, um, but we like to lie in the sun. And can you put your hands behind your head like this and go, ah, like you're having a little relax in the sun. Great. So let's have a practice. Can you be kangaroos and put your hands like this and do me some hopping so it goes. Kangaroos like to hop, 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 hop. Zebras like to run, 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 run. Horses like to trot, and you can go trot, 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 but we like to lie in that sun. Ah, all right, should we try singing that through with those words? You listen to which bit I'm singing and you can do the actions along to my ukulele playing. Are we ready? Steady. And off we go, kangaroo. his favourite animal. Okay, so um, I found Ted. Now, Ted, we've just been singing Kangaroos Like to Hop. Now, what is your favourite animal? What's your favourite animal? Tiger. Tiger. Can you show everybody your friend Tiger? And we're going to write our little song about your friend Tiger. Now, what does your friend Tiger like to do? He, he likes to Fly <gasps> in an aeroplane. He's a flying tiger, so we could have tigers like to fly. Yeah. My tiger likes to fly in an aeroplane. In an aeroplane, that's too cool. And yeah. do you, can you remember what's mommy's favourite animal? Cheetah. Mm, close. Leopard. Leopard. And what do leopards really like to do? Do you like cheetahs? I do like cheetahs too. We can sing about cheetahs if you like. Cheetah. Cheetahs. What? What's really special about cheetahs? They can run fast. They can run really fast. So cheetahs like to run. So we can have run, 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 run. So tigers like to fly, 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 fly. Cheetahs like to run, 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 run. What other animals do we have, Ted? Penguins. Penguins. Oh, I've got one here. What do penguins like to do? Ooh, waddle. waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. And then can we have, but we like to lie in the sun. And then we'll go, ah, and lie in the sun. All right, are we ready? No, so. Lie in the sun. All right, well, here we go. So, tigers like to fly. Are you ready? Hold your tiger up when we sing about him. And off we go. Tigers like to fly. And cheetahs like to run. Run, run, run. Penguins like to waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. And but they like to splash. And they like to splash in the sun. Ah. Or in the water. Well done. Fish. So Ted is right. This song can be absolutely anything you want it to be, can't it, mate? You can write it about anything or anyone. Okay, thanks for your help, Ted. That was some really good songwriting. So our last animal song. Um, the last animal we're going to sing about is really big 
and grey and has a trunk and huge flappy ears. Does anyone know which animal I'm talking about? There might be one just down here. We're going to sing about our friend, the elephant. If I hold him there, he sort of looks to scale a little bit if I'm really far away. <laughs> so we're going to sing about our friend, the elephant. Now, some of you might have sung this song with us before, and it's all about the elephant's skin. Now, this is a lovely fluffy one because he's just pretend. But in real life, elephant skin is very wrinkly. And we're going to sing our special song, Elephants Have Wrinkles. Wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. On their toes, don't really have toes, but for the sun they do, on their toes. Nobody knows why, 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 why. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. Okay, so this is a really good one to play instruments along with. If you have something to shake or something to tap, you can try and keep the beat or you can tap your hands to your knees. And then it's a really good tickling song. So do you have someone there that might need a bit of a tickle? Um, and whenever we sing a part of the body, so on their toes, on their toes, give their toes a tickle, nobody knows. So are you ready to tap your knees in time? Can we see my friend, the elephant? I'll pop him there and I'll sing it through. Are you ready? So it goes like this. So one knee to the other. done everybody let's look at another part of our elephant that might have wrinkles we've sung about his toes what about his ears so this time we're gonna sing elephants have wrinkles on their ears on their ears and then toes again and then nobody knows okay you ready to get tapping and then for a bit of a tickle ready steady and off we go again so he's had wrinkles on his ears wrinkles on his toes where else would be good on his tummy <gasps> wrinkles on his tummy so we're going to go tummy ears and then toes get ready to tickle those tummies but first tap your knees are ready steady and off sing that song and you can think of all different parts of the body that elephants might have wrinkles and you can give them a bit of a tickle as well well done thanks so much elephant 
And so we've come to the end of our animal music. Well done, everybody. Such good um, playing and singing and dancing along and, and pretending to be animals. Now, I know that you know that there are so many other songs out there about animals. Can you think of any that you already know? Now might be a really good time to sing them through. And it might be a really nice question to ask your grown-ups if they have any songs about animals that are their favourites. We know that uh, there are some uh, quite fantastic hits of the 70s, 80s, 90s that might mention animals. It might be a really fun thing um, for you to listen to them together and see what you think. Um, but for now, it's just time for us to say goodbye and sing goodbye to each other. So can you give me a great big wave goodbye? And you can have a little sway or a tap or keep waving while we sing all together. Are you ready? But now it's time for us to say to see you really soon. Bye-bye.